Oh yeah. Wow. Ah. This is when things really started going to shit for this X-Men timeline. How different everything is in this movies from this point on from the comics. You'd expect some dark shit like Days of Future Past to completely end it all. I mean, did they not know how much of a big character Cyclops is when they made this movie? And they make him die like this. Yeah. Like a jobber. Uh. Oh, yeah. You can control it with the Phoenix on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll kill your yeah, love. Like, I haven't seen this shit before. You can't hurt me. It's things like this is why I'm glad Days of Future Past happened. Now, this is interesting, because tell me, which actor for the live-action X-Men movies do you guys like more? This guy? Or the one from X-Men Apocalypse? Who I seem to fail... I forgot his name! I need to check it out. I'm supposed to be the geek. The only problem is, <coughs> we didn't get that much screen time with this guy. I would have to say this one here. Yeah, me too. But and that, the problem with that was because he had more screen time. And But see, the thing that fucking kills me is, they bring back a great X-Men character, an angel in X-Men Apocalypse, and, and yet, Crispy, he dies! I'm pretty sure they killed Angel in X-Men Apocalypse. Oh yeah. Spoiler alert. But it's not really much of a spoiler concern considering that movie's been out for a year now. Well, one thing I really like about this one is, uh, storyline, of course, is the way he came back and saved his father. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was cool for him, you know, to come back and save his father, even though his father is a major dickhole. I mean, he could have his father. Yeah, he did. All for just $22.50 per month per line for four lines. That's 50% off. It's like the lab for the system. They left her job. Oh, yeah. Who is actually a character at the comic books, but I can't say her name right now. Before we get really started with discussion on this movie, I I like this movie. I mean, it could be better, but when it first came out, I just, I enjoyed it, you know? There's, there's far worse movies out there than this one. You know, I feel like it got hit with some shit. But I like this movie. I mean, I mean, what what do you guys think of this movie? I like it, but it's not exactly my favorite. I like Quicksilver. I like the ones with Peter. And I like, well, basically, I like that other one where um, they're fighting the Sentinels. Days of Future or Past. Days of Future Past. That's my favorite, absolute X Men movie. You're really bouncy. I know, probably because I'm nervous. Yeah. Yeah, sit with me too. What? You just like Quicksilver? Yeah. And My Little Pony. <laughs> I'm trying to get more of the shot. Do you want to move? Yeah. Thank you. Well, I, I like this movie. I mean, you're right. I do enjoy um, Quicksilver and the newer ones. I think he's had some pretty cool scenes in it. Um, but I kind of just... Um, now that Days of Future Past happened and it created a new timeline, all the movies that happened before Days of Future Past, I guess, has been retconned out. But it's like what Brian Singer said. Even though it don't matter in the main continuity now of the X-Men film franchise... It still exists to some degree because there's still the multiverse. Even though a timeline is retconned or just 
non-existent. It still exists because it still happened and it was just shut down to another universe. Once another timeline begins, you know. And that's my thought. I just like the idea of that multiverse because everything matters. It really does. Even if it's not canon And this is another one of the scenes that really piss me off. <laughs> I'm getting kind of a glare. Do you want to turn off that light? This one? Yeah. yeah. There it goes. That's better. This is one of the scenes that really pissed me off the most. That's another question. Which mystique do you guys like better? Rebecca Romaine or Jennifer Lawrence? It's hard, you know. <coughs> that ball thing you crawl. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Jennifer Lawrence, maybe a little bit more. But she's a really good actress. Just think what John Stamos is losing out on when she divorced him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think it's more shocked. There's no way to influence policy. Policy is being made without me. Well, whatever. The Whatever. The cure into a weapon was made without me. What happened on that convoy was Mini review, I think, is over. Because I really don't want to comment anymore on this movie. <laughs> one other thing. I know I had the last one be the intentional end result. But I just want to pass out. In the X-Men movie films, all the kids in the school just look normal. And I'm not talking as a hateful geek. You know, because I really do love these movies. But it would be cool if, for say, the school in the movies actually resembles something in the comic books. I mean, you don't see any kid running around with something weird, Thank you. like Ernest there. Or any kid that looks like a Noel. Or even anyone that looks like, um, you know, him. In the movies... It just looks like a regular prep school. I just... It'd be nice for a little more realism into letting everybody know that it is actually a school for mutants. But that's it for today.